Now let's look at a compound inequality. Solve the inequality and graph the solution set on a number line. Here we have negative 3 is less than or equal to 2x plus 1 is less than 6. Recall that in a compound inequality we have three parts. Whatever we do to one part we will do to all three. In the middle we notice we have 2x plus 1. To isolate our term that has an x in it we're going to subtract 1. So we'll subtract 1 from negative 3, well, that would be negative 4, is less than or equal to We'll subtract 1 from 2x plus 1, leaving us with 2x. Less than, we'll subtract 1 from 6, leaving us with 5. Next, we're going to divide by 2 in order to isolate x. Division by 2 in the left-hand side leaves us with negative 2. Dividing by 2 in the middle part leaves us with x. Dividing by 2 on the right leaves us with 5 halves. We could also rewrite this as negative 2 is less than or equal to x, is less than 2.5. Now we're going to graph this. We'll draw a number line. Let's designate 0. Moving to the right, we have positive values. Moving to the left, we have our negative values. Now, We'll start at our border of negative 2. We notice that our solution can include that value, so we're going to draw in a closed circle at negative 2. Next, we notice that we have a value of 2.5. That's midway between the 2 and the 3. We'll draw an open circle. All of our values are going to be between these two points, and so we'll shade in the region between there in order to graph our solution set.